What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I am Animagus, and today we are going to dive into the brand new trailer that was released a few days ago for the new Harry Potter Magic Awakened mobile RPG card game. Now, there was a little bit of information that I was able to go over in a previous video, so if you want to click the card and check all of that out, you definitely can. There are lots of still images. Uh, screenshots that I took from the website some information that we got there and all of that good stuff so this game currently again is open for pre-registration in China only we don't have any other uh, information about when this might come to the US it might release in other countries but guaranteed that you will be able to find that information here as soon as it does launch because I am incredibly interested in what this game has to offer. I am a huge fan of Harry Potter, of course, the franchise, everything about it, and I want to be able to cover it and see what this game is about with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into the trailer. All right, I got to wear my headphones so I look like a goober, but here we are. Start this bad boy. Or key games. Before that day, my life was like anyone else's. And then the letter arrived. Nice. I love this art we style. to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. That's right. You're get a steady magic. Oh, Hagrid. Okay, Diagon Alley. List of all necessary books and equipment. Ollivanders. That's like taken straight out of the movie. So is that line. I actually love that. I love this art style. Let me guess. You're looking for platform nine and three quarters? Is that Harry Potter? Platform nine and three quarters. Here's the castle. I love that view. I don't care what art style it is in. I'm in love with the castle. Everybody's at the Great Hall, Professors Flitwick and Sprout, Slughorn's hanging out. Who is that? Welcome to Hogwarts. Okay, McGonagall at the very end there with the Magic Awakened logo. I do not want to watch that video. As you can see, I'm also a dad because I play Sesame Street for my children. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about some of these elements in this trailer because I love the art style. First of all, I think that the art style is probably one of my favorites. I love the cell shaded look. I love just the sharp angles and like how everything looks sort of chiseled almost. Uh, it reminds me of Borderlands, which I'm a huge, huge fan of Borderlands, by the way. So yeah, let's let's look at a let's look at a few of these images here and just kind of slowly rewind back through the trailer here. So here we have somebody obviously receiving their letter. There's an owl. One thing that I do want to go ahead and point out right now that this is not only in uh, I'm guessing Chinese because this is where pre-registration rolled out. The subtitles are also in English at the bottom. So I was worried that for a little while this would only be a Chinese launch game. Like it wouldn't come to anywhere else in the world. And I was super paranoid about that because obviously like I want to be able to play it if it's Harry Potter. But the subtitles in English, like they give me a good vibe. They give me good feelings about that. Um, it could be that they're just providing English subtitles as a courtesy to other people, but I doubt that they would release a game in just China with English subtitles attached, if that makes any sense. That could be a bit of a leap, but here we go. And then the letter arrived. So this kid sort of looks like Harry Potter. At least find and close the list all the necessary books and equipment. This is taken straight out of canon. Side Minerva McGonagall, Headmaster. At Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Awesome. Of course, there's Hagrid. You can't have Harry Potter without Hagrid. All right, Diagon Alley. We see Madame Malkins over here. Uh, I believe this one is uh, Ollivanders. You can see like the the D E R right there on that side. Green Guts, of course. Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. You can't have it without Weasley's Wheezes. Okay, we have the same setup as we've seen. Ollivanders and just about everything. Uh, he's gonna slide in just like 
in Sorcerer's Stone. How cool is that? I love that. Okay, so one thing that is kind of strange is that it does look like this character in particular is wearing a Ravenclaw scarf. Like, that does look... Correct me if I'm wrong. That looks pretty Ravenclaw-ish. So, also a bespectacled, a bespectacled <laughs> kid uh, with shaggy, unkempt hair, freckles. I don't know, man. It could be, it could be one of the Potter kids. Uh, but at the end, when Harry Potter comes in, it makes me feel like that's not. Give it away. Also, I love the way that this wand looks. That is really, really cool. I love the design, and I might try to make a replica myself. I love like the big, like pommel, heavy hand on the end, and then these look like maybe metal pieces of metal or something. That's that's so cool. I love the way that that looks. Of course, Ollivander. I love like the the way that the features are too, art style. Platform nine and three quarters. You're looking for platform nine and three quarters. Okay. I think that this is Harry Potter, and here's a there are a couple reasons why. Uh, one that looks like every version of Harry Potter we've ever seen in a video game. Two, this I know it's a faint outline. You can't really tell too too much, but on my screen that's really close to my face, I'm looking. That looks like a scar, and. The final one is that this garb, this particular outfit, looks just like the outfit that Harry is wearing in the Wizards Unite game that I also cover. So I am really curious to see if this is him or not. It sounds sort of like him. Like the voice actor could be the same guy that does uh, Wizards Unite voice acting. So, and also there's the whole scene where he's like confused and looking for nine, uh, platform nine and three quarters when he's a first year. Like there's, you know, I'm there's no convincing me. This is Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter. I've just confirmed for myself. <laughs> of course, running through the platform. Hogwarts Express. I love the lake and the boathouse. Get the boathouse and this huge panorama. Oh man. I just love everything about this style so good. We have Flitwick, Sprout. So Flitwick, probably Charms class. Sprout, most likely Herbology. Slughorn, Potions. You can't have Harry Potter without potions, really. But who's this cat? Is that Neville? Because he technically works at the school, right? I thought he was the he was the herbology professor when Harry Potter's kids went there. But Professor Sprout is also present. So I mean this has got this has gotta be Neville, right? This has to be Neville. Of course the features are all sort of like out of whack and almost Susian to a degree, but he's got a large nose. He's got the like the buck teeth that Neville had growing up. So it could be Neville and he could be like a teacher's assistant, maybe about to take over. That's definitely Professor Sprout. So depends on when this bad boy takes place. There are only four teachers sitting at the I thing, too. So, of course, McGonagall, super sharp features. Harry Potter, Magic Awaken. That is pretty dope. I really like the way that this looks. I don't know what the actual gameplay is gonna be like until we can see a gameplay trailer and, and kind of get an idea for what the moves and all of that kind of stuff looks like. Still projected uh, 2020 at the moment. So yeah, I that's, that's the trailer. I'm really excited about this. I know that sounds silly, like it's gonna be a mobile game. It's gonna be a card game. Uh, I'm sure that it will have microtransactions in it and all that kind of stuff too, just sort of like Hearthstone and other uh, card games have in the past, which it is what it is. You just kind of have to know what you're getting into with all that kind of stuff. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this. Is this something that you would consider playing? Is this something that you're interested in? Uh, I am interested in it because it's Harry Potter and it's a card game and it's going to be very accessible. It'll be a little bit more uh, accessible than the card game that they have now just because it's so analog and you have to purchase the cards and then find people to play with. But hopefully online, this will have its own like campaign. It'll have its own story. It'll have some online uh, maybe competition type stuff. 
Uh, we obviously are going to be getting sorted. We are going to be going to Herbology. We'll be going to Charms. We'll be probably doing some Care of Magical Creatures stuff. Uh, just kind of because that's what was alluded to in the last video. Again, I am really excited about this game, you guys. So that is actually it for now. Everybody, thank you so much for stopping by Harry Potter Magic Awaken. I am very excited about the possibilities for this game. Uh, anything that, again, is Harry Potter, I just want to get my hands on and play and try out and see how I feel about it, if it's going to be good, if it's going to be bad, whatever. Uh, poor Key Games is developing it, though, in relations uh, and in partnership with NetEase, who, again, did develop Hearthstone, did develop... Uh, knives out which was a, a battle royale that's pretty big overseas so i do want to let you guys know that i actually have good faith in this i think that it'll be a fun game and i think that it will be good but again let me know down below what you guys think what you think of the art style what you think of the gameplay mechanics and what that could possibly look like i'm here to speculate because it's one of my favorite things to do uh and i can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this one as well Again, if you haven't already and you enjoyed the content, please make sure you leave a thumbs up down below as well as clicking that red subscribe button and ringing that bell so you are made aware the next time I produce a piece of Harry Potter content. I constantly cover Wizards Unite on this channel as well and I plan to continue to do that. I will never stop <laughs> covering Wizards Unite because I have so much fun playing it. I actually have a brilliant event video coming out that will go in partnership with the article that I wrote for the Wizards Unite Hub. So if you're interested in that, I will be sure to go back and link that to this uh, whenever that goes live and all of that good stuff. So lots of cool things. And if you are watching this on Friday, December 13th, tomorrow I will be having a live stream uh, unboxing or opening of my Wizarding Gold package that was sent to me it's a personalized package that they send with all of your profile stuff and all that cool stuff so if that's something that you're into make sure you stop by tomorrow as well i'll try to go ahead and get a thumbnail and a reminder set up for you guys so you can remind yourselves to show up when i go live that is it for today thank you again so much and make sure you do like and subscribe before you peace out that's it for now and until next time peace